uh, basically to, uh, the process involved in brewing beer. Um, you have your, your malt, your barley malt. Um, try to keep it simple. Uh, you, you mill the malt, which you open it up. Um, you expose the inside of the, of the malt. You mix it with some hot water. Basically, in layman's terms, it makes a, this is the mash tun behind me here. Basically, you make a big batch of oatmeal, kind of, so to speak. Uh, there's enzymes in the, in the malt. When you mix it with the hot water, that breaks down those, those enzymes, and it converts those, those starches into sugar, which later the, the yeast is going to be introduced, which is going to create the, uh, the alcohol and the CO2 that's in beer. Um, so basically, you do that. You, you start that process off. You collect the, the liquid that comes out of the, the it's called the mash, uh, between the hot water and the, and the malt. You collect it in this kettle here. Uh, you boil it. Uh, that's where your hops are introduced based on what style of beer you're brewing. Um, you know, some hops will have more, like an IPA, an India Pale Ale. Uh, some, hops, uh, some beers will have less hops. Uh, basically, it counteracts the sweetness because if you didn't have hops, it would just be a, a, the wort. That's what it's called. Uh, the collection from the mash tun is the wort. Um, it would just be sweet, so the hops is what counteracts that sweetness. Um, from there, we transfer it down to our fermenters. That's where the yeast is introduced to the, to the beer. And that's, as I said, is the process where the uh, CO2, the carbon dioxide, and the alcohol is created by the yeast, eating those sugars that um, are present. Um, so a small, concise, uh, unscientific version, that's, that's basically the process of making beer. Then you usually let it condition for a short time uh, or a little bit longer if you're, brewing a, if you're making a lager. And then uh, pretty much ready for serving after that. This thing! They'll want to watch.